Let's continue with more news. The Kenyan Attorney General, Professor Gidu Mwigai, has warned that the planned swearing-in of NASA leader Raila Odinga next Tuesday would amount to high treason punishable by death. Professor Gidu Mwigai says any attempt to swear in Raila as president is unlawful, illegal, null and void. He also warned that counties that have passed the People's Assembly motion have committed an illegality and risk being surcharged for music for misusing funds allocated to the counties. But as Rita Tinina reports, NASA is planning to go right ahead with what they call the swearing in of the people's president. I, Uhuru Kenyatta. Ten days ago, President Uhuru Kenyatta was sworn in for a second and final term. In the opposition coalition, NASA has been planning a similar ceremony set for Tuesday next week. <laughs> But now the government's chief legal advisor, Attorney General Professor Gidu Moiga, is warning against the NASA plan. A swearing in of any person, any person not lawfully declared to have won an election by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and a swearing in that is not conducted by the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya is a process wholly unanticipated by the Constitution and is null and void and illegal ab initio. The Attorney General says the law expressly provides penalties for such a move. The criminal law of the Republic of Kenya in Article 40 of the Penal Code provides or stipulates that that sort of process is high treason. It is high treason in respect of the person so involved and any other person facilitating that process. What is the punishment for high treason? Uh, it is death. NASA has been pushing for the establishment of the People's Assembly. Twelve counties, among them Kisumu, Makueni, Migori, Kilifi, Kakamega, Busia, Machakos and Homabe, have debated and passed the People's Assembly motion. And that too, the Attorney General says is unconstitutional, illegal, null and void. The so-called People's Assemblies are institutions totally unknown to the Constitution of Kenya and totally unknown to the County Governments Act. They have purportedly been established in violation of the Constitution and the law. Professor Gidu Moigai argues counties which have passed the People's Assembly motion have violated the Public Finance Management Act by using funds set aside for the counties. These monies can be surcharged to those persons who have been involved in that process. Not to mention that the government retains the right to review county expenditure where the counties have misappropriated. And this, there can be no other word to describe it, is a misappropriation of legitimate monies. <laughs> Despite the warning by the Attorney General, NASA is vowing to go ahead with its plan, with the Defiant Coalition on Friday set to outline a series of activities ahead of the planned swearing-in on Tuesday, a day on which the nation will be marking Jamhuri Day. Rita Tinina, KTN News.